Hey, Kristen here for another reaction. Today we have Tom McDonald, uh, Dirty Money, and I have a feeling this is going to be really crazy from the way he described it, and I got the album, so I'm not going to play. I know the song, but I haven't seen the video yet. And, uh, yeah, I hope that, uh, I hope that there, I don't know, like, how many views does he usually have? Uh, about an hour into it, because... Looks like he only, when I grabbed the link, it looked like he only had about a hundred thousand. He has a hundred and twenty-three thousand views, which is amazing, obviously for most of us. But for Tom, I don't know. I hope it's not getting uh, halted. Are you not halted? Uh, hope it's not getting a little shadow banned by our beloved. Uh, YT. Uh, anyway, let's get into this and see see uh, the latest masterpiece Tom has for us. Um, okay, yeah, let's let's get let's get started. They're angry that they'll never shut me up. I'm making more noise. Turn me up or turn me down. It's your choice. Black lives only matter when they got a corpse to exploit. Cause the media made billions off the protest for George Floyd. That's called ad revenue. They make cash selling you. All the crap in the ads where they broadcast news. Ooh, the network full of liars got investment capital and segment sponsored by Pfizer. And Has he told a lie yet? I don't think so. <laughs> Not at all. But... I can see him definitely saying that if uh, if he wasn't already on a list, uh, and uh, heck, if us uh, fans and reactors weren't already on a list, we might be after this. <laughs> Freedom fighters, I feel like the left just plans them to infiltrate the right. It's extensive planning, then it happens overnight. It's impressive branding, make a million off a shirt that say let's go branding. It's a cash grab, everyone's a lab rat. I made billions of dollars from sanitizer and black mass And that's that Funny how the terrorists who attack Always come from places that are oil rich and have gas Democrats, they don't give a damn What is this about? Our military trapped in the Middle East Can't get them out Heroes are the ones who had the constitution written down Y'all are using hero while describing Kyle Rittenhouse One cent, two cent, three cents, four You know, like I said, I, uh, I'm not sure if I said it yet I've started the intro for this video and had to restart so uh <laughs> but uh i uh have i have the album his newer album so i've heard this song and this song seems like something that could possibly make everyone mad like not everyone everyone but like both so people on both sides because it is saying how you know how talking about how both sides are kind of played against each other and used you know and how sometimes we can get ahead of ourselves or get really into something and end up making money or pe having people make money off of you know exploiting our you know feelings about stuff but uh yeah i mean i i get it though i mean slogans and all <laughs> but yeah down y'all are using hero while describing Kyle Rittenhouse one cent two cent three cent and as far as that goes I don't really know about the story so I'm not gonna be talking about it but yeah I mean that was from what I've heard of that story or that situation it sounds scary I feel like it was a kid that probably shouldn't have been there but it's probably a good thing that he had a gun, because I'm sure it saved his life. I mean, regardless of what, whether I think he should have had the gun or been there, it saved his life. So, I mean, if there was... A, nobody should have been in that situation. Nobody should have been at those uh, riots. Let's be real. So, <laughs> I mean... Granted, I'm somebody who's just like, I don't see the point in definitely riots, and I don't see the point in protests. I'm just like, you know what? Just stay with yourself. Stay to yourself, you know? If you want to, like, say, protest by not buying something, you know, fine, but 
why put yourself at risk by showing up at a protest that could could go very wrong and get violent which let's be real there was in the past like decade or so i've seen i remember man i remember seeing video footage of protests in say baltimore and stuff and i'm from maryland originally and some of those fiery protests the riots seemed like something you'd see in video that they have from riots in say greece or somewhere so it's it's extremely scary you know and same goes for the other ones especially in 2020 just i don't know people are so ridiculous and i get they get upset about stuff but violence does not solve anything well let me go back just a touch since i'm running my mouth down y'all are using hero while describing kyle rittenhouse one cent two cent three cents four we get less and they get more by insult since we were born they want money we want dirty more. dollars fill their pockets while our coffins fill the ground they make profits solving problems they create to keep us down dirty For this song, it's all classified intelligence. Don't need to go to war to secretly be getting benefits when Russia launches rockets. Protect Tom at all costs, and I say that with the most seriousness. I hope that he has protection, security, whatever he needs. Because, I mean, you can just go back to his song, Trying to Kill Me, and I think that's several years old now and he's definitely not uh slowing down and good for him somebody needs to speak to power and that's what he does for all of us who are scared to speak i mean i could try to you know talk about what i know and feel on my channel but i mean it doesn't get far nobody is gonna listen to me but Tom, he has a gigantic, huge audience, and the spread of it, it, it could, hopefully, at some point, it could make a difference for the better, but not until society as a whole, the country as a whole, decides to quit giving in to all this. We condemn them, but there's evidence a U.S. politician owns the screws they're assembled with. Ain't no war on drugs, it's economic. You make money off an inmate, every jail cell is profit. Our prisons are privately owned, illegal marijuana just mean kids smoking weed, turn the dollars in their pockets, let's be honest. Domestic threats in comparison to nuclear powers who hate the West is embarrassing. Still we label truckers in the convoy as terrorists and confiscate donations, we have no idea where it is. A pipeline leaks, price of gas. That's a face that I would love to see on, uh, on currency. Wouldn't that be the coolest uh, currency ever? <laughs> Tom Bucks. Goes <laughs> higher, stock market crash, everybody gets fired. Economy is weak while we trying to beat a virus. One trillion dollars in debt to China. We celebrate the smallest battles we're winning so they can publish the headline that's gonna fuel the vision. But if we champion the crumbs, then it's crumbs that we're giving. But we don't make any pro. Yeah, division. That's something that, I mean, obviously I have any, you know, you, you could not notice, it, but listening to Tom this past, it'll be a year since I first heard him, um, in, I guess, June or July, and uh, through his music, I'm noticing more and more, you know, because of his uh, lyrics, how divided we are by every different little group and it i mean it's just all kinds everyone wants to other other you know everyone else based on you know obvious the obvious ones race 
religion, income, class, which is pretty much like income. Um, but then there's, then there's the less obvious to a lot of people. There's, well, a big one is gender, obviously, sex and gender. And then there's, uh, less obvious that people don't really talk about, which is people literally dividing themselves based on how they look, their bodies and stuff. And that's why I'm strongly against the different like body positivity movements and stuff because I don't separate myself from other people. I'm just a person and how I look on the outside has nothing to do with who I am on the inside. I'm not differentiating myself from my friends who look different than me, whether that is race or body type. So I don't know. I just feel like we're being fooled by everybody and screwed with to be like, oh, you're different. Oh, you, we're going to, you know, go after you for this reason, make fun of you for this reason, because you're different than me. And then I'm going to go back to you because you attacked me for how I look. So I have to attack you for how you look. It's just ridiculous. It doesn't get us anywhere. And uh, that's just another part of division that I've, I've noticed. And I mean, in Tom songs, he's even brought up the fact that everyone is, you know, you know, always, uh, everyone is to this, to that, you know, like too white, too, too black, too rich, too poor, you know, whatever. And I don't know, just, I don't know, just, just some thoughts that float around in my head, but yeah, division, we need to stop it, cut it out. We're not in middle school. Let me go back just to touch. Headline that's gonna fuel the vision. But if we champion the crumbs, then it's crumbs that we're given. And we don't make any progress, we're stuck at the beginning. One cent, two cent, three cents, four. We get less and they get more. My insult since we were born. They want money. We want Dirty more. dollars fill their pockets while our coffins fill the ground. They make profits, solving problems. They create to keep us down. Dirty money. It's soaked in blood it's all about the money, 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 money. Every time we make a buck, they take from us about the, money, 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 money. the dollar runs our lives until we die it's all about the money, money, money. Yeah, yeah uh, The thing is, is I think money is a very emotional subject If you have a lot of it, obviously is It no longer is so much issue you're just like you know you're like oh it's no big deal like how people say oh money doesn't buy happiness and as someone who has very little of it uh someone who doesn't have an income that is basically uh you know living off of very little that I have left from uh, from what I got from my dad when he died and someone who's unable to get a job because of uh, well I won't get too into it right now but I just I just feel like when you have a lot of money it's definitely a lot easier to say you know that it doesn't matter. I mean, I could, I understand where he's coming. I don't think he's saying that because obviously he's been through a lot. I mean, he's worked freaking hard to get where he is and he deserves every last cent that he has. He didn't get it dirty. That didn't sound right. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, but there are some people that I feel like, you know, they say, oh, money does buy happiness. Yeah, well, try worrying how much longer you're going to make it because you're going to run out of money and how are you going to, you know,
take care of yourself and you already have like emotional and psychological issues and your anger and depression get much worse the more tension and stress there is and just everything just goes downhill so uh yeah i mean money kind of does run run your life especially when uh when you don't have it that's the sad sad fact that uh and i mean i'm sure rich people runs their life because you know when you're rich you're worried about staying rich and when you're poor you want you're thinking about ways to get get it and so yeah i mean it's pretty sad but the sad fact is that we need money to live because let's be real it's getting more and more expensive to live these days so yeah i don't know a little my running my mouth again but let's go back just a bit the dollar runs a lot until we die Controls your mind and they control it mind Dirty dollars fill their pockets While our coffins fill the ground They make profits Solving problems they create To keep us down Dirty money Dirty money I don't want your dirty money Another, another great one, Tom Nova and uh, Jared, uh, obviously, I mean, what could I say? I mean, it's Tom McDonald. I literally am not exaggerating if uh, when I say that everything that he puts out is is gold. And I know some people, right now I'm a little kind of low energy, low key, because uh, I don't know, I'm, I have a cat that I'm, a little worried about because he's acting a little off so <sighs> I really wanted to do this reaction and I really wanted to watch the video so I was like if I'm gonna watch the video I'm doing a reaction because I haven't I haven't done one in so long and I love doing it honestly but when stuff keeps coming up it's just like oh my god so if I seemed a little off it's it's just because I am a little worried about one of my one of my babies, one of my cats, and uh, he's just acting a little off. So, uh, so yeah. Um, and I've I don't know. I've had a lot of loss the past few years. So, so I'd be lying if I'm if I said that I'm completely fine and not worried, like really extreme. But uh, yeah, I, I'm hoping to do more videos. Uh, I had posted a video uh, the other day with, you know, announcing that I would be reacting to this and just some updates and some uh, thoughts and stuff. So I think I'll probably will try to do some non-reaction content also just because I want to get my voice out there. And uh, that's one of my... Uh, one of my things is while I love doing the reactions and I love getting putting uh you know getting music tell telling people what I think about you know the music and stuff so other people can maybe hear it let's be real I'm a very small channel most people uh that watch this already are big Tom McDonald fans and I feel like I have other uh, things that I want to do I want to maybe talk about you know things that affect me and not just for my sake more kind of it's you probably already left so you probably don't care but <laughs> Like, I feel like, you know, I just turned 40 and I feel like there's not a whole lot I'm leaving behind when I go. I don't have kids and 
I recorded a CD, so yeah, there's that in the ether somewhere, you know. If anybody ever, you know, sees that after I'm gone. But then there, uh, there's nothing really else. And I feel like, you know, I want to make videos talking about my, some experiences I've had. I haven't had a whole lot of life experiences. But I feel like the struggles that I've gone through, if it could help other people maybe pull themselves out of their own to avoid the stuff I have and haven't gone through, you know, just, you know, to kind of maybe help them push themselves to go further and not be so scared. I think that would be really amazing to be able to do something like that. And so I'm hoping to do some more, you know, videos like I did the other day where I'm just talking about, uh, talking about just things that come, you know, are in my head and, you know, if nothing else, maybe someone else feels alone in their head and with their thoughts and maybe they can relate on some level, which, uh, yeah, is, you know, really what, uh, this is all about. I mean, obviously, obviously my reactions tend to get a little emotional at times. And, uh, so I end up kind of using the, they end up as a kind of a mini therapy session, if you think about it. So, you know, doing that little of that, you know, just as my own content, me talking, I think they call it streams of consciousness or something like that. Uh, might be, might be a good idea for me, but, uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, hope you, uh, like the video and hit it. If you haven't yet, which I'm sure you have, uh, make sure to check out the video on Tom's page. I'll make sure to link that. And, uh, yeah, let's get that. Let's get, uh, Tom to his, uh, million plus views as usual because this, he deserves it and the song deserves it. Uh, this video deserves to be seen everywhere. We need to get him another number one on Billboard now. Anyway, uh, talk to you again soon and yeah, bye.